Hi friends, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. We're now on, I believe, round nine of the uh, greenery blanket. It was the hat. We're turning it into a blanket. We might even turn it into a circle vest. Uh, Theo is here to join us and supervise because you guys had voted basically that you wanted a cream or a white. I don't have a cream or a white, but I do have this uh, dove, very mini, misty, light, neutrally gray color that we're going to use instead because it's these colors here that I have to choose from all in the same gauge. So this is paint box yarns, and I'm gonna join with a, with a single crochet in any chain one space. When I uh, usually begin rounds, I do like to begin to the uh, side of the cut tail from the previous round where I'm gonna be working over it soon, um, just because that's how I like to weave in ends as I go. So we are continuing with a single crochet. It's a single crochet round, similar to a previous round, with a single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to lower the camera just a little bit for you so you get an even better look. We have now deviated from the pattern that is in my book, One Skein Crochet. So we're going to pull up the chain five loop from two rows below. And pretending it's not even there, insert our hook into the next stitch. I do have the tail there that I'm working over and single crochet through all of that mess. Then just the next stitch, single crochet, single crochet in the chain one space. So we will be crocheting all the way around. I do like to weave in the tail from the gray. Don't forget to pick up the chain five space here. Then also insert the hook into the stitch, and then I've got my tail tucked, and then yarn over and pull up a loop through the fabric, through all the loops, through everything, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. I hope that you find this uh, greenery blanket a valuable and relaxing use of your time or a relaxing and valuable use of your time, however you want to say it, whichever one is more important to you. Let's see. I want to send some good wishes and prayers to a lot of my um, friends here on YouTube. Some of you are going through some tough times. I It is a tough world right now for a lot of people and I am thinking of you. Thank you so much for spending some of your free time with me. So single crochet in the next single cro in the next treble crochet. I've got these purple tails here that I'm going to work over so I'm just going to get them in line. Get in line. Pull up the chain five loop that is just basically put your hook underneath it and then pretend it's not even there. Then insert the hook through the next available stitch. It's a treble crochet, the gray or the purple. Yarn over, pull up a loop through all of that stuff. Then yarn over and pull through. That is your single crochet that goes through the loop. So now we want to make sure that our gauge is correct. We don't, do not want to make this into a hat. We're now on turning this hat into a blanket. I hope that you all are crocheting along at home using up your stash turning your projects into something spectacular. You also could use different styles of yarn. Um, it doesn't all have to be the exact same brand. It doesn't, it should maybe be all the same fiber content. That way, if you were to wash it later, you would know that all these yarns are acrylics or all these yarns are wools so that you would know how to care for it later. But most of all, it's just important that they do have all the same care instructions, um, but then they could be different. So I know friends of mine um, who have done really beautiful work mixing different worsted weight yarns with different like eyelash yarns or faux fur yarns or boucle nubby yarns. I tend to not really love those um, very, very textured yarns as much as I love the smooth yarns. And I love the smooth yarns because it shows off the stitch definition very well. And I love stitching. <laughs> I love crochet. And so I want to show it off with excellent stitching. I'm going to straighten up my camera here. We're going to keep going around the circle while we chat. So we're single crocheting. So we've got groups of three. Okay, remember from the previous video. So single crochet in the first treble crochet of the next group of three. Then that middle group of three is when we pull up the previous loop and work in the stitch. And then the last stitch of the group of three lavender, we're just doing a single crochet. And then a single crochet in the chain one space. 
So I hope um, you guys are stashing down. You, like I said, you can use lots of different yarns. It doesn't all have to be the same yarn from the same uh, company, from the same style, but certainly the gauge needs to, you need to figure out the gauge so that this thing continues to lay flat so it does turn into a blanket and not a hat. And you need to have the care instructions of all the fibers that you use be similar enough that one won't felt while the others do not. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally throw it in the washing machine and have like, it all looks beautiful except for this road here that felted and shrunk up and made the whole thing pucker. So in the, as a rule of thumb, in general, if you're going to mix yarns, make sure that you mix them from the same fiber or the same care instructions, even if you do not mix them from the same style, same company, same whatever. So anyway, you, um, it's also possible that, oh, did I miss? Uh, look, at, look at what happened here, friends. There's no chain one space in between these two groups of three. I missed it. So I have an option. I can either rip it out and go back and fix the mistake. There, There is no chain one there that there should be. Or I can just add a stitch as if there were a chain one there and we can get on with our lives. Okay, so the bigger that this project gets, the um, longer each round is to pull out. And I simply don't care enough to go back and make sure it is absolutely perfect. Because you know what, no one is going to notice. My stitch count is now correct on the next on this light gray dove gray round. So it, we're all back to good um, for the foundation of rows to come. So I'm okay with it. Are you okay with it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Would you be one of those people who ripped back and made sure? Or would you be like me like, eh, okay, we're doing the best we can. And sometimes mistakes happen in life and that's part of handmade um, crafts, craftsmanship. So even, I admit it, even if I was creating this design for publication, I would probably leave that mistake because it's not likely that it would ever be seen in a photograph or in a um, or by a tech editor even, and it does not change the outcome of how it's going to look. And I probably will not even be able to find the mistake later, even if I go look for it, even if I know where it is. So it's all water under the bridge. It is fine. However, if you're one of those people that needs to go back and fix it, well, by all means. Do what you got to do to make yourself happy because this is a relaxing and valuable use of your time. And if you're not happy, then what's the point? That's what our leisure time hobbies and crafts are for. So now that I have finished, I want to lift up my camera and show you the full thing, how we're doing here. Give you, give you a little bit of a better view of the whole thing. We're getting there. Oh, pretty, pretty. So I'm going to have you please comment below. I'm going to just join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. What color comes next? Remember, I need 25 comments um, so that I know that you're interested in maintaining this project and seeing where it goes next, seeing what develops. And I will see you on the next video, but go back and watch the previous ones if you've missed them so you can catch up with us. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye. Theo, you're going to say goodbye? Theo. Theo, Theo, Theo. There's the kitty. Bye.